that we're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies. Jennifer Aniston speaks out against Vice President hopeful J.D. Vance's past comments about women. What would you tell your younger self about your own power? How important your voice is. The actress proving that in her Instagram story on Wednesday after Vance's comments on Fox News in 2021 resurfaced amid the 2024 election. We're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made, and so they want to make the rest of the country miserable too. And it's just a basic fact. You look at Kamala Harris. Q Jen. I truly can't believe this is coming from a potential VP of the United States. If you want to lead this country, you should feel grateful for it. You should feel a sense of gratitude. And I never hear that gratitude come through when I listen to Kamala Harris. It's a rare response from Jennifer, who historically doesn't get political on social media. So why now? Well, we know the Friends star has been open about her painful fertility journey. Telling Allure in 2022, all the years and years of speculation, it was really hard. I was throwing everything at it, but now at 55, Jen says the ship has sailed. The entire future of the Democrats is controlled by people without children. Jen not holding back in her message to Vance. Adding a reference to the Ohio senator blocking increased protections for IVF treatments in Congress last month. God bless you. Jen tells JD, I pray that your daughter is fortunate enough to bear children of her own one day. I hope she will not need to turn to IVF as a second option because you are trying to take that away from her too. And how dare you? And women, you heard how he thinks of you. Yeah. This is not good for you. Whoopi Goldberg fired up over this hot topic on The View Wednesday. It's about telling as much of the truth as we have. Sir, wow. <laughs> there are people who have chosen not to have children for whatever reason. There are people who want to have children who cannot. How dare you? You never had a baby. Your wife had a baby, but you never had a baby. So you know nothing about this. And it is my great honor to have Joe Biden's endorsement in this race. I was told I was going to get to debate Kamala Harris, and now President Trump's going to get to debate her. The View panelists also discussing, will J.D.'s comments jeopardize his future on the presidential ticket? I am hearing from so many girlfriends, lifelong Republicans that are so offended. How yeah. dare you denigrate them and say that they are not as valuable, they don't have as much of a stake in this society. I was a lot of people's spokesperson. I was a president, I was a vice president, and now I'm my own spokesperson. As for Joy Behar's beef... ...that we're effectively run in this country by a bunch of childless cat ladies. The veteran co-host infused some humor to lighten the mood. It's so mean against cats. <laughs> <laughs>